If you're not sure what a battery disconnect is, that's what this video is going to be about. Hey, thanks for stopping by. My name's Kevin. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and watching. If you're a subscriber, thanks for your support. We sure appreciate that. It really helps the channel out. All right, well, today I'm gonna to talk about the battery disconnect. If you don't know what a battery disconnect is, it's the ability to disconnect your batteries without physically getting out a wrench and removing the cable from the battery terminals themselves. There's a huge advantage in that is that it's fast, it's safe, and it's a safety thing that keeps fires from happening if you're quick and can come out and, and disconnect your batteries. All right, well, I've already told you what a battery disconnect is, the ability to disconnect the battery wires, the cables from each other so that it breaks the circuit. It cuts the circuit, stops the power from flowing. And that can be a good thing in an emergency, but it's also handy if you're doing maintenance. And I'm, I got sick and tired of losing the nuts and the screw, the nuts and the bolts into the sand or worse, into the box. Those batteries are 70 pounds. I got to lift those out. They don't have handles on them. So you got to finagle the batteries to get them out and then go find the uh, nut that's down at the bottom. And here's where the first one is. This is a Blue C Systems. This particular model is a single circuit, so it's on and off, and there's only one leg to it. Some of them, they make different models, and I might show a link here of the different types that you have. So you can go to different battery banks, multiple banks, combine battery banks together, and that sort of thing. But in this particular video, I'm only talking about the single circuit battery disconnect. Say that fast. This particular one is rated for 300 amps, which is a lot of power. It's a lot of energy going through. It's rated at 300 amps continuous, 500 amps intermittent. So if you had a huge, super huge load, you would go for just a little bit at a time. It's rated for 48 volts DC. My particular RV and most RVs are rated at 12 volts, and that's kind of the standard. So it's well within the range of operating safely in my RV. One of the reasons I picked the uh, Blue Sea Systems uh, switch, they're meant for marine environments where there are heavy vibrations and salt water. It's a real harsh environment, so I knew it would be good for my RV. I'm not saying it's the only one. There are plenty of them out there, but that's what I chose. So in my particular case, I've got the power line coming from the battery, which happens to be three feet away. You want these ideally to be as close as possible, but in my case, I can't keep the batteries in a closed environment because they're lead acid and the gas is not safe to have inside the RV. The gas that escapes from a lead acid battery is toxic. You want to keep that outside, especially when they're charging. And when I turn that switch to the off position, everything's disconnected except for the battery mon system. The battery mon system, and I might do a video on that later, leave a comment down below if you have interest in what that is. There's a power shunt that's rated at 500 amps, which again, that's huge. This power shunt is up here, and this thing here handles 500 amps, which is a lot of power. And when the power goes in it and goes out of it, it's measured. So I know how much is being pulled from the battery and I know how much is being put back in the battery. And what that, what controls that is this device up here. This device is a Bluetooth device. It's controlled on your phone and I should do a demonstration about that if I do a video on it, if there's interest. Uh, but anyway, so that's the only thing that stays on because I want to know the status of the batteries. I don't have to get out here with a voltmeter and check it. So if I've disconnected the system, if I flip the switch right here, everything in the RV gets shut off. There's no power to anything and there's no parasitic drain other than that tiny little unit there. And I think it draws like 10 milliamps, something like that. Of course, it's not the only battery disconnect that I have in the RV. Over on this side, I've got the solar panel one. It's the same model and it's only used for my solar panels. So if I have a problem with my solar panels on the roof, let's say I'm camping, I'm going down a road and trees are overhanging and a uh, branch drags on the wires, yanks them, rips them, or whatever, and they short out. This is a way to disconnect that power so I don't have that putting, uh, that shorted out power reaching down here or any kind of problems uh, feeding up to that direction. It doesn't have near the uh, volume of power, the amount of power that goes through that my regular RV terminals do. Um, after I get the solar panels installed in my RV, I happen to see a wreck on the highway near our house and it was a fifth wheel that hit a light pole. I don't know what caused the accident initially, but that thing had solar on it and it really got smashed up. Stuff was everywhere. You know, it doesn't take much to do that to an RV. Well, that's how a battery disconnect system works. It's very simple. It's just an on and off switch, literally. One of the features that I like about this switch is that it's explosion proof. I guess they, I think that's the term that they used. I'd probably have to read the description on the website about it again, but uh, essentially what this does is it prevents sparks. So in a marine environment, if it was on a boat, and the boat was trying to start, or you were starting the boat, and you get that smell of gasoline. If you've ever been on a boat where the, you can smell gas, you don't want someone switching this to another battery bank, and it's sparking and 
blowing everybody up on the boat. If you've ever been in your house and you go down the hallway or in a room and you flip a switch and it goes pop, pop, one way or the other, random, even if it's intermittently, that's a spark. And you don't want that in an environment where you've got fuel, gasoline, or other explosive chemicals. Let's say you're boondocking and the only source of power is from your batteries. Uh, that's what you would want to do is to disconnect that. All right, well, that's about it. It's a pretty handy way to cut the power to your batteries and uh, turn off the power in the rest of your RV, 12 volt that is. You know, that brings up another point that I didn't mention, and that is the solar panels. If I want to do some work in the RV, I would want to make sure that there is no power being generated anywhere. When I disconnect these, um, the batteries, and I turn the switch to the off position, there's no more battery source coming into the RV. If I turn my solar panel switch, I turn that switch to the off position. Now there's no power coming from the solar panels in. So that makes it safe for me to work on electricity within the RV. And electricity, I mean 12 volts. Okay, well that's a quick summary and a description of what a battery disconnect is and why I use it in my RV. Maybe that's something that could benefit you in your travels, your RV adventuring. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. It is the way. We'll see you next time.